my father owns a honey farm in Onaiza. He has seven years experience with bee and honey. He has 100 bee health. Every six months, the farm produces about 50 kilogram of honey. On average, a Saudi family consumes one kilo of honey per month. The Quran Islam's holy book refers to honey's healing and medicinal properties. There are three types of honey cedar rabital. Each tab of honey has benefits for our health. Talh is used to cure of wounds and colds. Cedar is a cure for disease and is beneficial for the liver and kidney treatment Rabi is good for the respiratory therapy all kinds of honey are good for the cells of the body pea stink are useful for curing muscle pain We sell our honey in our shop in Oneza. We sell between 20 kg and 13 kg per month. The price for 1 kg of tal is 300 real Saudi and half kg of tal is 150 real Saudi and quarter kg of tal is 70 real Saudi. This for one kilogram of cedar is 500 real Saudi and half kilogram of cedar is 250 real Saudi and quarter kilogram of cedar is 125 real Saudi. A breast for one kilogram of rabi is one hundred and fifteen real Saudi and half kilogram of rabi is seventy five real Saudi.
رمضان زاد على الدنا رضا الاماني والمنى فيه السعاده والهنا اهلا بي في كل عام اهلا بي في كل عام دوعة تدعو القلوب رب أضنتنا الكروب تجل الخطايا والذنوب واجعل لنا دار السلام واجعل لنا دار السلام في دوعة تدعو القلوب يا رب أضنتنا الكروب تجل الخطايا والذنوب واجعل لنا دار السلام واجعل لنا دار السلام في لوعة تدعو القلوب يا رب أضنتنا الكروب تجل الخطايا والذنوب واجعل لنا دار السلام واجعل لنا دار السلام على الدنا يا رب إنا تائبين ندعوك ربي كل حين جناك ربي خاضعين نرجو المحبة والوئام نرجو المحبة والوئام نرجو المحبة والوئام يا رب إنا تائبين ندعوك ربي كل حين جئناك ربي خاضعين نرجو المحبة والوئام نرجو المحبة والوئام نرجو المحبة والوئام My family lives on a camel farm in Bukhiria. We have 100 camels, 98 of them are female, and two of them are male. The male camels connect stay together because they will fight and kill each other. A female camel has one baby camel every two years. My favorite animal is the camel. My whole family works on the farm. My older brother supervises the farm. My younger brother goes to the market to be thanked. We need uh, 
for our farm for example medicines food and uh, spirits or uh, feet when the camel gets sick camels can be used uh, as working animal we can also eat camel meat and drink camel milk camel milk uh, is free sweet they used to be called the sheep of the desert because it can stay without water for many days in fact camel can go without water for one month camel have a very good sight they can see very far camels also have very good memories they never forget for culture and heritage brings together native camels from the Gulf region where they compete to be judged the most attractive. This is the third edition of the annual event in the UAE and with 28,000 camels entered, competition has become fierce, with standards and beauty getting higher. Ahmed al-Mansouri explained that this wasn't a winning year for his family's camel, Bihar. Because it's my camel, uh, I, can, uh, I will say it's, it's very beautiful. But with the judge, you know, uh, they are looking for too many things. Next year, inshallah, will be, will be better. Camel owners come from all over the Gulf to mingle, compete, and make connections in the camel fraternity. The event also attracts local royalty and dignitaries, many of whom are keen owners and collectors. This is a serious business. With the best camels going for up to 5 million US dollars, these beauties don't come cheap. The festival sees many private deals done on sales, and organizers believe that this year, $80 million has crossed hands over the 10-day event. Owners must remain away from their stock when the judges are at work. Local breeder Salam Yahyahi Al-Manhali and his sons brought six camels to compete this year. I competed last year and I got excellent scores. We came in sixth place and won a car. We came six out of 35 camels. Up to 1,200 camel owners have gathered here in the western region of the United Arab Emirates. A get-together of camels, organizers say, is the biggest in modern-day history. Those who bring their camels here will have them judged on their beauty. Judges are specific about what makes a truly beautiful camel, with the body divided into sections for scrutiny. We check on the head, how does it look like. We check on the ear, we check on the nose, we check on the legs, we check on the cheek, we check on the neck. We check on the hump. The champions can win their owners prizes ranging from a brand new car to hundreds of thousands of dollars for a single competition. But despite modern technology's advances on this age-old form of desert transport, owners are in no doubt that the traditional way is the most beautiful. Jane Ferguson for CNN, the Western Region, UAE.